Do you remember when your last home was built and how long it felt the construction took? The lost time and inconvenience has plagued architects and construction managers, but everything is about to change forever. Hadrian X, a robot developed by an Australian company, FBR, has successfully completed its first full-scale testing by building a 180 square meter house with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Initially, Hadrian X was made to pass factory acceptance testing, which focused on its ability to work with bricks of different sizes and cuts, building from a CAD model and building tall or from slab to cap. After completion, the trial Hadrian X completed its first full home structure in less than three days. That's unbelievable. The structure was verified by independent civil and structural engineers as having met the relevant building standards. If robots built your house, what would it look like? Construction has been slow to adopt new technologies, but that is beginning to change fast as robots, drones, and 3D printing are making construction more effective and creative. Why are walls always straight? Why does it cost so much to build them? And why do big construction projects always run late? Construction has always been a conservative industry, used to doing things their own way how they have always been done. But a new wave of innovation is coming, which will change the way buildings look and how they are made. And who wins in the new area of construction industry will change the game. Architects have always been limited by what their builders can actually make. But if robots were doing the building, all sorts of new possibilities open up. Straight walls partially exist for the convenience of the builders and architects. But for a robot, a curved wall is almost easier. So at the DFAB house, a small test building in the suburbs of Zurich, Switzerland, the main wall follows an elegant, irregular curve. It's built, built around a steel frame welded by robots, which humans would have found almost impossible to construct unaided. Even stranger, the roof consists of a series of flowing organic ridges, awkward to dust, perhaps but designed by a computer and made with 3D printing to achieve the same strength as a conventional straight roof, yet with half the weight. The DFAB house demonstrates what a computer-designed, robot-built house could look like. If you think about how buildings are built today, all these processes have a long history, but they are all designed to be executed by people. So they are taking advantage of all the talents people have, all the things people are good at, You can't just transfer them to a digital tool or a machine. So what we are trying to do is take a step back and think what the machine is good at and what the robot is good at and really rethink the way that we build. The DFAB house shows how robots can play a role in construction indoors and out. Robots built the wooden section which formed the upper floors of the house and welded the steel frame of the curved concrete. This is called 3D printing with steel. From Russia to Dubai, France to the Netherlands, architects and builders are experimenting with the possibilities that new technologies, such as 3D printing, open up. Robots are being built for all sorts of construction tasks, which are often heavy, repetitive, and dull. Perfect candidates for automation. There are robots which can install drywall, lay bricks, lift heavy objects, so they are a long way from replacing humans altogether. Robots will be working alongside humans in the very near future to help us design and build. In the past, robots were used for specialist jobs that were too dull, too dangerous, or too dirty for people to do. Today, thanks to their ability to process sensory data in real time, robots do an incredible range of things. They already create clean your house, Soon, they'll be able to help design and build your house too. The tipping point has come as robotics has shifted from being the domain of mechanical engineering to the realms of the network experts. They've applied smartphone technology to produce robots that can sense, process data, and communicate with each other via the cloud to learn. One example is Roomba, a vacuum cleaning robot. In its first generation, Roomba would bump around your walls, then it learned how to sense and spare your furniture. Now in its third generation, Roomba has taken a picture of your ceiling to know where it is, a technique called robot mapping. Telecom company Qualcomm 
has demonstrated the potential of this approach by taking a smartphone and adding four wheels and a motor. The power of the smartphone industry skills and technology might enable developers to leap 30 years of development and produce a robot capable of much more sophisticated actions than anything that has gone before. What does this mean for construction? Traditionally, buildings take place on a site and by hand. In the future, according to conventional thinking, machines will perform construction off-site, but this has been proposed for years. I think there will be an alternative, robots working on-site along with humans. A funny quote I heard was, give a robot a pile of bricks and it will build you a perfect wall. And it can be achieved effects that a human bricklayer simply can't, such as turning each brick by exactly one degree to produce a very subtle curved wall. It does the exact same with timber cladding and tiles. The leap in robotics has implications for design too. I don't think we'll see robots designing buildings autonomously, but I do think we could see them working alongside designers. You could use a robot to help you build a physical model, for example. A company such as Skycatch already uses drones for 3D scanning to provide cost-effective, high-speed, and high-quality data around an area. Should we be worried about any of this? Are machines going to take our place? I don't think so. As I heard inventor Saul Griffiths point out, robots are still blind, stupid, fat, weak, slow, and difficult. They're an opportunity, not a threat.